guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm taking you with me behind the scenes on a photo shoot that I'm doing for West Coast Sightseeing's brand new electric boats, which do harbor cruises in Vancouver. First, we gotta tow the boat all the way from Coal Harbor around to False Creek, which should take us about an hour, and then we're uh, gonna take some really beautiful shots for their marketing material. So we have the captain for today's voyage, Captain Errol Sack, who also happens to be my dad. Hey, well, great to have you all aboard. And my son, my beautiful son, I'm in love with him. His name is Blaze. And I want to thank you for being on the boat with me today. It's a pleasure having you as part of my crew. Awesome, and thank you. the video, yeah. yeah thank, thank you. Have you please. So uh, we're in good hands. He's going to be driving. This is the work boat, which I'm going to be shooting from when we shoot the electric boat, which we're currently towing. All right, just pulling into our dock to grab all our subjects. We're gonna load on the boat, so it looks like we got a nice full boat to get some beautiful shots. Then we're gonna cruise along Pulse Creek and uh, see what kind of angles and pictures we can get. Check it out. Okay, so I quickly wanted to show you guys how I edit my photos, and the program I use is actually Lightroom, which is a great tool, especially when you're editing batch photos, um, to change, adjust the colors, and make adjustments to the actual scene. So I took a whole bunch of photos, this is the one I'm going to use as my example, and I'll show you how I manipulate this and make my adjustments. This is the end result of what I had, the final photo once it's complete, but the original photo that came out of the camera looked more like this. I was shooting in a flat picture profile, which actually gives you a lot more dynamic range, especially good on a really contrasty day. So even though the photo looks bland in the camera and the colors are not very vivid, in post-production you have a lot more flexibility to boost the colors and make sure that the highlights aren't blown out and the darks aren't too black. So to edit my photos, basically the first thing I do is just go through all the settings which are here on the sides. You import your photos in and then start with one of the photos you wanna change. So for this scene, I'm gonna increase my exposure which changes the overall brightness in the scene. It was, obviously I don't want it that dark so I'll bring it up a little bit. The contrast, it's really contrasty so I won't play with that too much. Shadows are the what's really dark so I'm gonna push this. If you overdo it, bringing the shadows brighter, you're gonna to start to see some grain. Um, so you don't wanna, punch it too much but for this scene I do want to push it to bring my shadows up um, whites are the brightest part of your photo and sorry the highlights as well are the light is the bright light parts of your photo so I'm gonna bring the highlights down um, to burst because there's huge contrast between the lights and the darks so I'll bring the highlights down the whites are the brightest highlights I'll also bring those down and the blacks I'm gonna actually tweak a little bit down just so I, the darkest parts of my photo can add a little more contrast uh, your tone curve is kind of a general rule that a lot of photographers use is this kind of S shape, which makes your highlights brighter and a sle steeper slope between your highlights and your shadows. This was a really contrasty day, so when I do the S shape, I'm getting way too dark in the shadow areas. So I actually don't want the shadows to be much darker, but I will leave this upper part a little bit peaked. That looks pretty good to me. Um, and then the HSL color is the hue, saturation, and luminance. You can change essentially all the colors in your photo, make them brighter, darker, um, and more vibrant. So the hue is what's going to change your the actual color of each of your colors. So the blue, I can make it deeper blue or purple, or I can make it kind of a more of an aqua color. I don't really need to change many of the colors in my scene. I like them the way they are. I'm just going to make them more punchy. The one color I will adjust is just the greens. You can see the trees there. They look a little bit dull and I want it to look like a nice summer day. So if I want it to look like fall, I can make those really yellow, but I'm going to make them a little bit more green and punchy. Saturation is what I'm going to tweak, especially in my blues. That's a predominant color that you can see in this scene. So I'm going to boost my blues up, make them more vibrant um, and that's pretty much good I don't want to overdo it I don't want it to look like a pastel painting so um, the luminance is how bright my colors are so for the blue which is the predominant color if I wanted it to be super bright then you know it's gonna look like that but I actually want to make my blue darker that blues are in the highlights so I'm gonna bring those down and they're gonna look more apparent that looks pretty good 
And the other change that I skipped over is actually this section here, presence. Clarity is something I always like to boost up a bit. You can see how crisp it'll make the outlines of your of different parts of your image. Um, and then the general, vi uh, general saturation I'll also bring up just a little bit for the other colors in the background. And finally, um, you can see the sky isn't as blue as could because it was so such a bright day it was a bit washed out so i don't want to overdo it on the blues in this section and on the boat but i do want to make get add some blues to this top area which is really easy to do you use this gradient tool basically select a gradient and then pull it down over your sky where that dot is is kind of where the core color is going to feather out into your original scene so that looks pretty good to me and then if i want it to be super blue i can just bring this temperature down um, that's a little overdoing it so i just want it to be look like a bright day but also look natural that looks pretty good and i made a few other adjustments and my final photo looked like this so again i brighten up those shadows i did go pretty deep on the blue and you can see the difference between the photo out of the camera and my final edited photo what i'll do is i'm going to put a link in the video description to all my presets which are basically these one click wonders where all you do when you get your photo out of the camera is apply your preset to your photo and it's already done and makes your photo look great i've got a whole bunch of different options depending on your scene and the the brightness of the day and where you're shooting so you can basically pick and choose from different presets and apply them to different photos depending on the conditions and not worry about editing all the little pieces of each photo. All right, well that is a wrap on shooting the West Coast Sightseeing Electric Boats in False Creek. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to their uh, website so you can check them out. Super cool boats, they literally don't make a peep because they're 100% electric, environmentally friendly. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.